Welcome to WRCP Radio Theater, where everything old is new again, and vice versa. Tonight's production, The Great Houdini. It's November 4th, 1926, Detroit, Michigan. We stand before the Garrick Theater. It is closed, deserted, but the Garrick is far from empty. As his body is being laid to rest, Houdini's irate spirit wanders the venue of his last performance. Outside the theater, in the cold autumn night, a young boy pedals his shell game in hopes of engaging one more customer before night falls. Inky dinky parley-voo, tell you what I'm gonna do. A little game from Hanky Poo, two for me and one for you. Five will get to ten and tail gets to twenty. Step right up and see if you can follow the little pea. A winner every game, guaranteed. Bring that over here, kid. Yes, sir. All you gotta do is tell me. Yeah, yeah, I heard ya. Five cents to start. Five cents. Thank you, sir. Alrighty then, uh, where'd she go and where she be? Where the heck's that little pea? Under one or under two or under three? Parlez-vous! And, uh, two. Wow, looky there. Jeez, I've never had anyone win so fast. You must be pretty smart, mister. Got that right. Let's go, double or nothing. Golly, I don't think that I can... Uh... What did I just say, huh? Double or nothing. Well, okay, uh... Where'd she go and where she be? Where the heck's that little pea? Under one or under two or under three? Parlez-vous! Number three. Oops. Sorry, sir. Ah, you cheating. No cheating, mister. Just a game of chance. Yeah, crook. Give me my money back. <laughs> Sorry, sir. No refunds. Why, you half-pint swindler. Ain't no one to ever suck as me and lives to tell about it. <laughs> what, what are you... Hey! Don't point that thing at me! Where you going, you little creep? Why, Yella? You just come back here and take your medicine, cause you can't hide from me, Twip, when I get my hands on you. Anyone in there? I need, I need help! Open up! That old theater's closed, you know. Somebody! Anybody! What do I gotta say? Open Sesame! Open this door, you brat! I don't know how yous did it, but I know yous in there! Ah, you can't hide in there forever, twop! I'll get you! Just... you wait! Hello? Anyone here? Well, thanks for opening the door, whoever you are. Hello? Who's there? Someone here? Look, whoever you are, stop trying to scare me! How much to play your little game then? What? Who are you? Don't look so panicky. How much? It's... huh? Oh, five cents, but... You Will you take two pennies? It's all I got. I could, but this ain't the time to be... Shell game, isn't it? Kind of rank, even for an amateur. Amateur? <laughs> I you asked for it. Where'd she go and where'd she be? Where the heck's that... Number two. Well, yeah, but you're not even looking. How'd you... Do it again. Oh. <clears throat> now, where'd she go and where Hey, you're cheating! I'm cheating? You're the one using an honest magic trick to swindle people. So what if I am? What's it to you? I hate con men, and you're one of them. 
I'm just trying to make a living. You need to find another way, or you won't be living at all. And take it from me, kid. Being dead ain't no way to be. Ugh, what's that supposed to mean? You seen the paper today? Look here, big headline. Number one news story. The one, the only, the great Houdini dies. Death ends career of the king of magic. Funeral today. Extra, extra, read all about it. Let me see that. Uh, this picture, you have... This is... Uh... Awful. I know. They could have picked a better one. I tell you, if I ain't there to check on every detail, everything goes to hell. You what? Him. But he's... You are... Dead. Dead. Okay, I'm gonna go now. I wouldn't if I were you. I gotta go. Who's talking to me? What other choice is there? Your funeral if you go out that door. Oh, that guy's a mile away by now. I ain't scared of him. All right, you little son, so... You're gonna come out sometime, and when you does, it's Coitons, kid. Coitons! Huh. Looks like you're stuck with me. Pick a card. Any card. Are you off your rocker? I can't be playing cards. I gotta get out of here. That guy's gonna Be kill waiting a long time. I ain't gonna let him in. You can do that? Well, um, wow. Thanks, mister. Save the thanks, kid. Cause I ain't letting you out. Why not? It's like I said, I hate con men, which you are. What's it to you? Everything. A real showman is a hell of a lot more than ten gets you twenty. And if you want out of here so bad, it's gonna cost you. Cost me? Mister, I'm... I'm an orphan. I don't got no money. You still got my two cents, don't you? See? You're lying again. Well, here then. Take them back. What am I supposed to do with those? How am I supposed to repay you if you don't even tell me what you want? Do we have a deal? Or you want to stay here forever? Deal. Good man. Alrighty then. Now you see us. And presto. What the heck is this? Where it all began. Where what all began? Me. Step right up, step right up, ladies and gentlefolk of Appleton, Wisconsin! Please welcome the one, the only, Dr. Lin, late of Egyptian Hall! He will astound! He will amaze! Put your hands together, won't you? Pretty great, isn't it? My first magic show I ever saw. What Lin did see was cut off his assistant's body parts. But, uh... He'd start with an arm, slice it off, then the next arm, the left leg, the right leg, until he got to the best part. The best part? The head. One severed human head. That was the most fabulous thing I ever saw, and I loved it. You come from a troubled background, mister. Then the amazing Dr. Lin got even more amazing when he put the girl back together. Piece by amputated piece. So what's that got to do with me? He didn't really saw her into a bunch of parts, you know. It's all illusion. All escape. And never once did I hear him say, Tan gets you 20. I guess he didn't have to, but I do. And sharing your first memory has been a world of fun, but I That I've wasn't got... my first memory. See? You don't know everything. I know enough. Do you? Take Budapest, for instance. 1878. That's when... Austria and Hungary were going at it with Bosnia. Bad time to be a Jew. Got that right. Just ask my father. Yeah? Your papa soldier? He knocked somebody off? Can you keep a secret? <gasps> he did, didn't he? Maybe it doesn't matter now. But when I was famous, I didn't want the press finding out about it. I wouldn't want anyone to know my pop was a murderer either. He was not a murderer! It was self-defense. Or should I say, our defense. Me and my family. So you lie about being born in Appleton so no one would know your pop was wanted in Hungary. Ain't no crime in being dishonest. I had my reasons. No one would understand. Sure they would. Rules of the street, mister. Someone tries to off you, you got every right to off them first. Not on those streets, kid. In Budapest, being a Jew was the worst crime of all. 
I'm two years old, and all I remember is us running for the first boat out of Hungary before they hang my father for murder. He must have loved you guys. I don't know if I'd call it that. But he stuck up for you? My family, yeah. Me? Not exactly. You see there, our son Leopold. Now he has a head on his shoulders. Look at him, studying to be a doctor of medicine. That is a true profession. What is Eric to do, eh? Go around hocus pocus the people so they should throw coins at him? It is your son who wants to do these foolish things, Cecilia. Mer, no. They are his dreams. Dreams are not foolish. They are nonsense. I know you say they are nonsense and wish him to be as Leopold, but Mayor, he is not Leopold or Theodore or any of his other brothers. We are lucky to have a dreamer in the family. I will never understand your tolerance, Cecilia. No, you will not. But I will believe in him. Him and his dreams of magic. Always. Bah! That was your mom? Heck, seems at least she loved you. She did. No matter what, she did. And you know something? I'd do anything for her. Feast your eyes, kid. Ladies and gentlemen, step right up. Step right up, for before your eyes, you are about to see the greatest show on earth. Your most amazing fantasies brought to life. What was once a dream shall now become reality. What are you doing? Right before your very eyes, you will find the grandest of circuses, the most triumphant of carnivals, the finest magician and acrobat ever assembled in one backyard. I don't see what you Appearing can... through what may seem to be quilts on a clothesline, the one, the only prince of the air, will astound you with the most perilous stunt ever attempted in an inner city ghetto. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the prince of the air will suspend himself in midair using nothing but his teeth. May I present the rope of death. Eddie! Where are you? Here, Mama. Eddie, I have dinner. And oh, what has happened? The grand finale. Oh, Eddie, you are a mess. What would your papa say? He'd quote the Torah and take my rope away. Yes, that is true. But that I would never do. You are most good at what you dream. Clumsy sometimes, but the very best. Now, let's clean you up, eh, Prince? Then your show can go on. Mama, I want to promise you something. And what would that be? Someday, Mama, I will make money with magic. You won't have to worry about anything anymore. Me and my magic will shower you in gold, I promise. You, my little Prince of the Air, I love. Now, do not be late this time. You were a weird kid. Look who's talking. I mean, all that stuff you were barking, all the trouble you went through, and for what? What the heck's the point? Like I said before, escape. By turning your house into a circus? Gotta start somewhere. You know, people passing by would stop to watch. Some of them throw coins when I was done. To the goofy kid on the flying trapeze. When you put the down payment on your mansion. You talk to your pop this way? Nah, he doesn't care what I do. Oh, yeah. The orphan thing. Yeah, go pull a rabbit out of your head. Hey, you got a pencil? Yeah, but what for? Forgot to sign this. Here, read this over for me. Can't you read it yourself? I could barely write it. I didn't take too much to learning. <clears throat> Dear Ma, I'm going to Galveston, Texas, and will be home in about a year. My best regards to all. Your truant son, Eric Weiss. Who's Eric Weiss? Me. You ran away? Real circuses would pay more than mine. Why'd you change your name? Eric Weiss just don't have that same showbiz punch, you know? <laughs> and Harry does. Don't be a wise ass. Where are we? A few years later. Necktie cutting factory in Wisconsin. Glamorous? Well, what's this have to do with Eric Weiss? Eric, you gotta see this. Who's that? Jacob Heyman. My best friend. He loved magic, too. Take a look, sport. What you got, Jack? Greatest book ever, Eric. 
Figured you'd be interested. Ah, uh, you're always reading. And I ain't been interested yet. First time for everything. Let me see. Hmm. The memoirs of Robert Houdin. Robert Houdin, actually. He's French. Greatest magician ever, Eric. He performs all over the world. Does stuff people can't even dream about. Yeah? Like what? Ah, <laughs> oh, hell. Hey, meet me after work, alright? Front of Martinkas? Where else? See you later. What's a Martinkas? Greatest magic shop on earth. Sold the best tricks money could buy. Of course, since Jacob and me didn't have any, we'd stand in front of the window and wish we did. Hey, Eric, you better get in there. Boss Madden and Horton looking to sting you. To hell with him, Jacob. What do you mean? Your book, Jack. Gets me thinking. We're made for better stuff than being tie cutters. What Hooden did, so can we. We can? Of course! Don't you get it? All those tricks we've been working on. We'll put an act together. Eric, I didn't mean for you The amazing Eric and Jacob! Uh, no. How about the mystifying Weiss and Heyman? That's not right. The fabulous Eric and the astonishing... Damn. Weiss, Heyman, Heyman and Weiss? Sounds like a furniture store. The Weiss brothers. The brothers Weiss. The brothers Heyman. Nah. Maybe you should ask your ma. Yes! Precisely! The brothers precisely? No, Jacob. Harry! Who's Harry? Me! I don't follow you. My mama. She calls me Eri. But it's too Hungarian, you know? So now it's Harry. Jacob the Great and the incredible Harry. Hmm. I see what you mean. You know, Harry, if you want to be like Robert Houdin so much, in France, you put an I at the end of a word, and it means being alike or similar to. Harry Houdini? Nah. nah. Houdini. The Brothers Houdini. You with me, Jack? You better believe it. Come on, kid. We're off to the races! We will return to the great Houdini after this word from our sponsor, Clink's Padlocks. Clink's Padlocks, the company you've trusted since 1859, is proud to announce the latest in commercial security. Introducing the pioneering two-key safe. This one-piece metal safe requires two keys to open, one held by your store manager and one by Clink's personnel. Two key safes are provided free, yes free, as part of contracted service to retailers everywhere. Don't be fooled by imitators. Only Clinks can open this safe. <laughs> <laughs>